We have a very special guest today on Primetime Local News. Ali Colleen is joining me today to talk about some of her latest efforts in her music career. Ali, first of all, thank you so much for joining me today. Honored to be here. How are you doing? You know, it's been great. And we were just chatting. I was talking about all the interviews you did yesterday. And so we're so happy that you took some time to speak with us today as well, because you were a busy girl, which is good, because as you said, you're getting to promote your career. So uh, let's get into it. And let's talk about some of the things that that you're doing now. Uh, what do you have on the go right now? Right now, we uh, as far as 2023 goes, you know, we've, we've kind of done our year of touring, you know, now we're going into the holidays. Um, I do have for the first time a Christmas song coming out which I'm very excited about. Um, it was not an idea of mine. I never think to add to the pool of Christmas music that is out there. Cause me personally, I listen to more of the traditional songs. So um, when an, a fellow artist approached me to do a duet for a holy night, I was like, let's give it a shot. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So we don't have a release date yet, but um, I will be releasing my first Christmas song with an artist named Jay Allen, uh, who's been very kind to ask me to come on the project. So we get to do that this year. And aside from that, we're just gearing up for 2024. It's going to be a big year for us. And we're very, very excited. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the studio. I've got songs coming out um, with Lee Bryce, and we've got collaborations with Jelly Roll coming up this year as well. Um, and for a little me, independent female artist in Nashville, that is that is incredibly cool, incredibly awesome. So I feel like the coolest kid on the planet. Really, really looking forward to the year. Well, I was just uh, scrolling through social media last week, Allie. That's how I discovered your music. And as soon as I heard your voice, it caught my attention. And I want to talk about a couple of songs that I heard in particular, uh, Halos and Horns and Tattoos. They sound really more kind of a gritty to me. So can you tell me about the songwriting process for those two songs? Absolutely. We have worked so hard to really kind of nail down sonically what Allie Colleen is. Um, because again, you know, coming from that everyone who comes to Nashville, you're putting that cover circuit for a long time, right? Where you're just covering songs, you're playing what people want to hear, that kind of thing. And that's very easy to, to sonically kind of mimic people. And so we wanted to find out what Allie sounded like. And Halos and Horns is just all about being tied between the halos and the horns, you know, the good and the bad and those ties and those pull of life and everything that makes me Allie, which is tends to be a little more on that gritty side. I look tough. I am tough. I'm all mush inside. But um, Halos and Horns is just a tough tough sonically song it's the one song i wait my whole set to play it's so much fun um i wrote that with eric dodd and stephen hunley um writers that i write most of my songs with to be honest and um that was a very very fun writing day we just kept going between that juxtaposition of good and bad and but in like a western world so that's been very very cool we tried to target it towards rodeos and towards cowboys and that kind of thing all the stuff that means something to me and then tattoos is this kind of out of left field almost pop song um, that I absolutely love. I love performing tattoos. It's very sexy. Um, it's our only explicit release that we've ever had, which has also been kind of fun and and kind of fun to see who is not a fan also in kind of ways. It's been it's been a little, I like that. So um, tattoos, you know, as you can imagine, I have been pitched tattoo ideas my whole career and they've always landed somewhere similar to tattoos on this town, you know, kind of a like country vibe that's been done before. And I'm very, very proud of, of kind of the individuality that tattoos has. Um, so um, thank you for listening to those. Thank you for recognizing them. If you guys would go listen, let me know what you think. I love those songs. And now let's flip the, the script a little bit here, Allie, with Honest Man. Uh, that is almost, oh. I would say, the opposite of those other two songs. So let's that's talk about mind. that song in, in particular. <laughs> <laughs> that's my mush I uh it's very different but again it's the same exact girl it's that grit it's being different it's not really caring what that social status quo is and going and pursuing what she cares about and to me as a woman the pursuit that that men have towards women I've always admired and always think is very brave and think is very cool and um, I have nephews and I have nieces and I just think if I wished anything for them in life other than happiness and health, it would be go get what you want, you know? And so honest man is how I would ask a man to marry me. And it's very sweet. And sonically, it's very country music, very singer songwriter country music. But um, I think it really says something for the women that are like me, that are just a little different, who are just willing to risk anything and everything, show face, all that stuff to go get what we want. And if that happens to be a man one day, I would be very, very honored to make him feel pursued in that kind of way. So Honest Man, as much as it's very sweet, I do like to think it continues to follow that grit that Allie Colleen represents. Now, you do come from a musical family. You have uh, in, the, in your background uh, growing up. So is this something that you just knew you wanted to do from the beginning? Or is this something where you picked up a guitar later in life? Or, or how did that all play out for you, Allie? 
Um, as far as any kind of influence that my, my parents had, you know, on my music and in my career and my life, I was raised by three incredibly kind parents, middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, you know, on a ranch and, and we did just farm stuff and we were athletes. We worked really, really hard. Um, but with that said, there was never a time in my life when I wasn't going to do music. I remember writing songs when I was like eight years old. Um, as soon as I could write, I leaned into poetry and I leaned into songwriting. Um, I decided to go to Belmont University in eighth grade um, and got a degree in songwriting, whatever that means. So much fun. <laughs> Fully recommend. Um, but music has always been, always been my thing. Um, but I do recognize that having two parents that are, in my opinion, the best at what they do, it never seemed like a crazy dream to me. I was like, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do that. And I like to think that, um, that I've done a good job and that I'm going to continue to just go get it because it really means the world to me. Any plans at all to do full out music videos? I know lots of uh, artists will go and, and do that. And, and you know, everybody, every song has to have a, a video to go along with it, a full video. So are there any plans to make videos a full part of your career as well? Absolutely. I would be so honored. We have so many plans and so many things. It always comes down to a budget issue. You know, being an independent artist, everything comes out of my pocket. And uh, most of that's taken by road expenses and just recording expenses and things like that. And I love music videos, but I will not put out a music video where I am just standing in different places singing the song. You know what I mean? I think music videos are so cool because they give you that side of the song that maybe you didn't hear you know, that you get to visualize now. So we have a lot of plans for a lot of music videos. The closest thing we have so far is we did put together a rodeo highlight reel for Halos and Horns on YouTube um, as a lyric video. And it's just cowboys doing their thing. And it's so cool. Um, but we plan to release a music video in 2024. And I cannot wait. Well, Allie, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today. And for anybody who is looking to find you, whether it be just checking out your social media or to find your music, what is the best place? Maybe, I guess, all in one place to find out more about you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Allie Colleen Music is our main handle. Um, so you can go to the website and it will direct you to absolutely anything, AllieColleenMusic.com. My most active social is Instagram. So if you want to follow along with me, my day-to-day, -day, my horses, um, all that kind of fun stuff outside of music as well. You can come find me on Instagram and I would absolutely love that. It helps us artists way more than you guys realize. So please, please, please come over, hit that follow button. Thank you guys so much for allowing me some time on your platform. Thank you very much. Allie, it has just been a pleasure speaking with you. Good luck with everything. We can't wait to see what you do in 2024. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.